Hey, it's Brickzar. In this video, we're going to do a tutorial as best I can. We got a question from Gerard Lafour about Bricklink and uploading your inventory to Bricklink and how to keep track of where everything is. Why don't I just read the question and then I'm going to do it from my computer here. So the question is, Brickzar, I love your videos. I'm new to Bricklink and parting out sets. Do you have a video where you explain how to manage your inventory and where the parts go? I know you use the remarks in Bricklink to locate the drawer. Is there a more efficient way when I'm done parting out a set to note the drawer location? Appreciate your help in advance. So I've never actually done this, I think, in, in detail like I'm going to do here in this video. I have talked about putting remarks but we're going to show you from a program that I use called Brickstock. Sometimes I don't know if they've changed the name. I haven't downloaded it in a while. But here it is. It's Brickstock up here in the corner. I'm doing this on my Mac, but you can do this on other computers as well. I have a PC that, uh, that runs Windows that we can do that. But So what we're going to do is we're going to do a dry run. We're not going to actually add items to my store. But we're going to pretend like we're about to. And we'll do something that I think I still got parts in my store so I can show you what happened. So I'm going to go up here to File. I'm going to do a new one. All right. And I'm not going to go into a lot of details about uh, how to use Brickstock. But what I want to do is add, a, I'm going to part out a set. And the set we're going to choose is 10214 I think is the number. Yes, that's it. It's Tower Bridge. So I select that. And I've added, let's see here. Add it. All right, so got the Tower Bridge. Did I add it? I forgot if I hit add. Yeah, I added it. So I can close this window out. So the tower bridge, this is if I was going to add the actual set. But what I want to do is I want to part it out. So I'm going to part it out. All right. And so one thing when you part out a set, uh, there's going to be counterparts. I probably should have done a smaller set because it's going to be all these counterparts. This The check marks over on the left, those are... You know, it's got the item. You can, like, if you want to take some of the parts out for your own collection, you can delete them here. Um, but these were the numbers, and these are the, with the blue, it's an extra part. You know, like cheese slopes are always extra. But these are counterparts. What I'm going to do, the way you do this is you sort by the check mark. And so we can get all the, the ones that are extras. We can say we're going to add... Let's see. Status. We're going to include those. Oh, whoops. I messed up. <laughs> Do that. We're going to status these as include. So now they got a green check mark. And then all these that are counterparts, you see you got... Uh, and this is very critical on some of these. Like these are the, the ones that don't have the lip. Those are the ones with the lip. Rounded curve, not rounded. So you got to go through your inventory and eliminate which you know decide which one you have and the problem with lego is that sometimes your set will have both varieties that is crazy yes i mean i've had sets that have had both types of jumpers in there uh, and things like that so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm not going to worry about it since we're not actually doing it but that's a big that's the challenge of doing a bigger set you got to go and verify the correct parts here so what we're going to do is we're going to i'm going to change the quantity just for fun so you you go up here file no, that's not what i want to do <laughs> edit select all and i'm going to change the quantity i'm going to pretend like i'm parting out two of these so i'll just multiply by two all right all right, so then I'm going to pretend like I have all of those. Actually, I want to consolidate items. I need to consolidate because of those ones that we had extras, and I want to do. I want to put them all in one lot, so I don't have multiple lots of the same part. All right, we got that. Now we need to download the price. We're going to set to price guide, and last six sales months. Last six months sales 
average is one of the best ways to do. If you've um, used the program, it saves it on the computer. So sometimes you might want to download it, especially if it's a price that's volatile, that's changing a lot. So it's going to download the prices uh, of each of the parts. And I really should have done a smaller set for this video. It's neat watching it go down. It's setting the prices. See if we can catch up to where it is. It's just gradually add them. And this is another way you can look and see which parts are valuable and which ones aren't. Uh, there's the base plate. You know, it's going to be a, a higher dollar price. And you can round these to two decimal places so you don't get the weird looking prices. It goes to three decimal places on here for some reason. But it's going through. Pretty amazing. It's two sets. Of course I do have the extras with not removing the uh, counterparts. But uh, it adds a lot of parts actually. I probably should have deleted one set of them, but there's too many. Alright, so now what you do, you've done that, you got your price. <laughs> Imagine two sets being worth a thousand dollars. So I want to add this to my brick link. So what you do is you go to export brick link mass upload XML file to clipboard. So I do that. And it's going to automatically go to brick link and open it up. If I haven't logged in, I'll have to log in, but I, I had already logged in. And you want to set it to the new price that you have. You want to concatenate, concatenate old and new remarks. That is where you put the drawer location. And we're going to go back and look at what we were at. But first, what I want to do is I want to know if I have any of these in my store currently. So you do this. You hit verify file. This is not uploading it. This is just, you're going to look at it before it goes into your store. And you see right away the first item at the top is already in my store. So I'm going to be adding 8, and it'll give me a new quantity of 12. I'm going to be adding 8 here, give me a new quantity of 12. So you see, these are already assigned remarks. That's the drawer number those items are in. And I, the reason I chose the Tower Bridge is I had parted it out, so I knew there would still be a lot of the parts from Tower Bridge. But see, then you get ones that have sold out, like this white corner has sold out. doesn't have a drawer assignment. So what you do, and it takes, even with this process, it takes a while, but in the long term, it'll save you time. Uh, it might be actually easier to print it out and have it on a piece of paper, and then you go back, go back to the brick stock, and the ones that don't have a drawer, and these are going to be in the same order that they're uploading, so you see the, there's the white plate, you add the remark. So, and then you do it for each one that does not have a remark. And you always want to concatenate the <laughs> remarks. That way, if you accidentally don't do it, it'll have it in the two different locations. But you definitely, you don't want to get a situation where you didn't put a remark, you put it in a drawer, you didn't write that drawer down here, type it in here, and then you've lost that part. It's in a drawer. You don't know which drawer it is. So you, this is where you do it, though. So you go through for each one. Go back over here to BrickLink. For each one that does not have a remark, you give it one. And the great thing is if you already got parts, like, man, see, there's a bunch of them, where it says that orange consolidated. That means it's already in my store. But then you find these that you don't. And sometimes what I'll do is, a lot of times... I'll actually part out a set because I need some parts from that set. I'll go ahead and remove those so they won't even show up here because I've already deleted them over here in Brickstock. And I say, you know, I wanted I wanted all the white plates. I could just hit delete. And it's gone. And it's the same thing with these duplicates down here. You know, make sure I got the right one, you know, then you just delete. You just go through and delete all the ones that aren't the correct piece. Like that. If you want to change the price, you can do all that right here as well. And then add remark. Like I want to put that. Remark. Set. I set that remark. It's in drawer 456, we'll say. So see, it still takes a while, but you're going to have to do it at some point anyway.
And the more items that you already have in your store, the less that you have to do this. So with smaller sets that, you know, have like 20 parts or 50 parts or less, we'll say it's a lot easier. But when you're dealing with 100 <laughs> different parts or more, it's a, it still takes a while. But this is a good way. And then once you upload it, okay, I didn't hit upload. And I don't want to do that now or I really mess up my inventory. <laughs> Hopefully I won't accidentally hit it. See this one's got look how many lots. Oh my god, this thing is just crazy. <laughs> I didn't even look before. 206 lots. And don't want to hit that upload file. So you know I can go back, you know, and then any changes I've made on Brickstock, I can do the same thing again. Select all and then export again. Bricklink mass upload XML to clipboard and then any changes I've made will show up here and again always select new price and tiering concatenate and then you paste that file right there you verify it so it's made any of the changes like that and you see look the white the white corner piece is gone now because I took it out so that's one way of doing it if you know a better way be sure to let me you know, put it in the comments below. I am by no means a YouTube BrickLink training expert, but I've had a store for a long time, and these are things I've learned from fellow YouTubers. One of the best to go to to learn how to do this is Bricks on the Dollar, and he's done a lot of videos about selling on BrickLink. But th I thought this is, you know, a good way of answering that question. So, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any other questions, perhaps we can go into more detail of certain features. Or if you want to tell me some things that I need to be showing people, let me know, and we'll see you in the next video. Briggs are. i got to hit the stop button up here. <laughs>